I would say for those people who are interested in working together with their significant other or those people who are looking to get a business partner in with the business, I'd say that there's a lot of different components associated with developing sort of that, that type of relationship. And there's multiple different components that I would recommend that you try to overcome when you initially start to have that relationship. So the first thing is, you know, you're the significant other. You guys, and I'm going to use this as, as let's say you're married, married, right? So you're married with your significant other and you have your husband and you have your wife right now maybe you're both are working two separate jobs or maybe the husband's working on the business and you're working your job so there's just two different sort of lives that are going on right now when you start to work together in the business that becomes one your work-life balance becomes one right so you you know when Andrew and I were working in public accounting Andrew would go off in pub, at PwC and I would go off in McGladry I would have my whole day at McGladry he'd have his whole day at PwC and at the end of the night we'd come together and we talk about our day right when you're working together in the business, it's a little bit different, right? Because you guys are now not only just, um, you know, team members, but you know, in some relationships, one might be a boss of yours. So, for example, in my case, Andrew's my boss, right? And so I'm not only married to him, but he's also my, you know, my my um, what is it? My my boss or my superior? Or I don't really know how you how you properly say it. So it is a little bit of a different relationship, right? And have you guys set up guidelines of how you're going to communicate to each other? on that relationship because you're going to need to set up guidelines like there's going to be things that are going to come up you're going to be like if that was my husband speaking to me i don't know if i'd be able to handle it in the way if that was just my boss speaking to me that way right or or if my boss asked me for that that would be different than if my husband was asking me for that so it's a different kind of relationship and you do need to set up guidelines you do need to set up boundaries you do need to think about how you are um, communicating with each other you know a good example of this is you know i know i, I know some relationships you know that when people get into arguments they actually kind of to yell um, you know in, in our relationship Andrew and I we don't yell you know that's just something that's not allowed and then of course in the business relationship there's no yelling right so there's there is no kind of you know screaming or yelling or anything like that that that's going on on a professional basis and on a personal basis so you know the, there needs to be some foundation some rules some guidances associated with you know what are you going to allow and what are you not going to allow both from you being the significant other coming in and you know that that the other partner coming in to the relationship as well well. So that, I would say that that's probably pretty, pretty important. Um, the next thing I would say that you'd want to know is, you know, what are your different personality types and how are you communicating those personality types to each other? You know, there's multiple different personality tests that you can take. You know, there's Myers-Briggs, there's workplace personalities, there's team dimensions, there's DISC, there's even uh, Colby. So all these different kinds of personality tests that you can take, I would say is really, really, really important that you do, do go ahead and take them and then share them with each other understand your strengths and understand your weaknesses and then understand their strengths and understand their weaknesses you know a good example of this is the myers-briggs test where you can take um, you can take it and there's multiple different components one of the components is a p versus a j a p is prospecting a j is judgment when you're prospecting you'll go to the grocery store if you're in that p range i'm in that p range you'll go to the grocery store and you will um you know see that there's things on sale maybe you'll go into the produce you'll see hey look the bananas are on sale i'm gonna go get that or hey look the ice cream's on sale it's bogo i'm totally gonna get that right so you you have this sort of idea that you're you're willing to be open to whatever sort of comes to you um you you, you hang out in the creative realm um you're not really ready to make that decision right then and there when you're a j when you're judgmenting you want to have a to-do list when you go into the store you're going in there specifically for what's on that to-do list and that's it you're in you're out you're done right so those are two different personality types and those are two different working relationship types that you got to understand how it's going to mesh together while you're in work so for example i'm a p and andrew's a j so you know if we're sitting in a meeting and i just you know i don't really have anything prepared that's going to frustrate somebody that's a j if somebody was a p and they don't have anything prepared and we're supposed to sit in there and we're supposed to create together that's just a very different kind of meeting expectations than if we were there to hey let's get in let's get this done let's knock this out so understanding each other's differences i would say is a big 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 piece to all of this um, and you can utilize those personality tests tests to help you really help you get there. Um, and then I would say the next thing, next thing that's super important is to have little powwow meetings with each other. You know, let's say that you've got, right now we've got a, te we've got a team of about 50 people. Um, we don't want to have these powwow meetings with the entire team. It's Andrew and I, myself, going through what's going on that day, what are we trying to attack, what are we trying to accomplish, and then at the end of the day, what are we trying to do, what are we trying to, what are we trying to accomplish? So we do those, you know, every day in the morning car ride in and on the evening car ride home, um, we do those sort of powwow 
Bilbao check-in meetings and then we do the weekly check-in meeting which happens on Sunday evening over a nice dinner. So those are different kinds of components associated with what I would recommend when you're working with a spouse. Um, and I would say that probably the last thing is understanding, you know, how are you going to actually accomplish the task? What are the steps you're going to take to actually accomplish those tasks? Because in some worlds, like in my world, if you tell me to do something through an audio, I won't pay attention. I won't listen. You know, somebody come up to me and ask me for something. I will legitimately forget about it two seconds later. Like something like even, even, even when I go and I introduce myself to somebody and I shake their hand, I am so focused on telling them my name than I am listening to them tell me their name. Like, like who does that? Right? Like, like that's just definitely not something that, that, that I can retain. Right? So if somebody tells me their name, when I shake their hand, I will not remember it at all. But if that person sends me an email and asks me to do something, I will get it done and I will not let that go until I get it done. So it's just a different way of how I approach tasks um, and outlining my tasks and that's definitely something that you want to get clear on um, before you start to get into this mess of, well, you were supposed to do it, well, I thought I was supposed to do it and then it's just a whole big mess. Um, so all of those different components are associated, I would say, to having a successful relationship, um, a working relationship with your significant other or your business partner.